YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a compilation of several clips and photographs from a vacation that I took with my family through Tennessee. We started by going to Nashville, where we went to the Grand Old Opry and saw Carrie Underwood on a night honoring Barbara Mandrell. There were a lot of other singers there that I really didn't know very well, but it was a fun night filled with music. And I'll insert a little pic of my two nieces, well, two of my nieces, I have more than two nieces. I'll insert a little pic of them here sitting waiting for the concert. Sadie and Reagan, are you guys ready to do something fun? Yeah. What are you doing today? As you can see, they were pretty excited about Carrie. They had to sit through a lot of other music before Carrie came on, but she did not disappoint. From there, we went on down to the Gatlinburg, Pigeon Ford, Severville area of Tennessee, and Severville's where Dolly Parton is from. And then the Gatlinburg, Pigeon Ford area is right in the Smoky Mountains. So we got to spend some time in the Smoky Mountains where we did a little bit of hiking. We did a, a guided hike on the first day. And the second day we ended up going to Gatlinburg and just exploring a little bit. And I have a couple video clips that I will insert here so that you can see a little bit of the shopping. I came across a few brands of handbags that looked a little bit, let's say, rugged outdoor type handbags that you might need to carry if you were in a situation where you went hiking. So this brand is called Cabu. I haven't heard of it before, but they have all of these little backpack things that look sort of like slings and they have some sort of a cord like for climbing as the strap which is kind of neat it's not the whole thing the strap is the strap is still adjustable but it's definitely a different take on a sling pack and they even have they even have fuzzy ones, which is pretty neat. And by the way, I am in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And by the time I release this, I will not be in Gatlinburg anymore. I will be back home. But here's some little mini ones, it looks like. They have the fanny pack, the bigger sling pack, and the mini one, as well as some small accessories to carry change in or whatever or one of them sort of fun i'll insert that one here it's okay so i just walked in the store and they've got all of these i think they're vegan leather meaning not real leather but they're really cute how they sewed on the designs on these and some of them like this one is actually nylon which i kind of like they're a brand called Chala. If you haven't heard of that, I bet you could find them online, but the vegan leather feels super, super soft. It feels really good. That one here, it's got patches and just kind of a whimsical look to it. So in addition to going to Gatlinburg that night, we went and saw the Hatfields and McCoy, and I did not film anything there, but that was a fun little show. It was sort of like the Dolly Parton stampede. So if you like that, you might like the Hatfields and McCoy show as well. I'm not super into those things, but it was really fun to watch my younger family members enjoy the silliness. And some of the music was really quite good. They did a section during the show where they had percussion on plastic buckets and big trash cans. And it was almost like Blue Man Group for a minute. I'd say that was my favorite part of the show. The next day we got up and we went to Pigeon Forge and we did knife making there, which was really cool. Oh, yeah. 
and I will take you through a little leather goods store that I went to while we were there. I am in Pigeon Ford at Lane J Leather and they have some handmade concealed carry purses and the Charlie design or the Charlie brand, which is this and then this as well as some others, they are the designs of this company that I'm in and they do some of the leather working here, but not for their handbags. These are their designs that they send to Charlie if it's that brand and then they make them by hand. And I think that the tooling on these is just really cool. We got some whip stitch going on there. And again, these are all concealed carry. I don't usually carry a gun with me, but I do have one. I just think that this is so pretty. Very, very neat with the coral, almost like a coral or a terracotta and then the turquoise stitch. That's really cool with the, I think that would be a cowhide. So there's another handbag update from this leather goods store. Pretty cool. As you can see, I, I mean, it's not necessarily my cup of tea, but there are some really, really cool handmade things that you can buy in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. So I just wanted to give you a taste of some of the things you could look at. They also had soap making, they had stone cutting, they had the, of course, the knife making, and then the leather area, you could do some customization as well. So we did take a trip up to the top of Klingman's Dome and it was fabulous. It is a half mile hike on pavement, pretty much straight up. But when you get to the top, and, and by the way, Klingman's Dome is within the National Park System in the Great Smoky Mountains. When you get to the top, there's this tower you go up and I'll insert a picture of that or a video of that here. I am hiking up to the top of Klingman's Dome and I've got my Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessories hack with my Nanostore 2018 strap and I am winded already. It's a half mile but it's like straight up. So this is a good bag for this. I wish I would have brought my Longchamp backpack. Totally forgot it on this trip but this bag is working in the meantime. Signing out. I made it all the way to the tippy top and I will show you what that looks like from the bottom. But we took a picture up there. I'll put the picture in of me so you can see. The bag just worked fine. I didn't need anything in it, so totally didn't need to bring it, but I looked fashionable on my hike anyway. observation tower when you hike your half mile up almost vertically you get to this and you take the pathway up to get there and that's where we took our pictures when you get to the top of the tower you can see like five states the view goes on for miles and miles and it is just gorgeous and the hike I mean I was huffing and puffing people who were in good shape, were huffing and puffing, but people who weren't were able to make it still. It just took some stops and pauses along the way. We had a very wide variety of fitness levels in our group and everybody made it to the top. When we got up to the top, we took some pictures and then we hiked on back down, which was much easier, but hard on my knees. And when we got to the bottom, we headed back. The cabin, I haven't told you about this at all, but the cabin that we stayed at was fantastic. And we got to see the bears there on a daily basis. There were these black bears, there was a yearling, and then there was also a mama bear and her cubs that came around on a regular basis. And so if I can, I'll insert a little bit of video of that. I'm not sure if I have any that's any good, but I can at least insert a picture or two.
it was really neat to watch those because we didn't really see bears in the park but it was super cool that we saw them around where we were staying. We also caught a glimpse of a bobcat as we were pulling out one day, so we got to see that as well. That's sort of a synopsis of the rest of our hiking as well as our wildlife adventures from our <laughs> cabin, which is where we stayed. The next day we took a trip up to the top of the mountain in Gatlinburg, they have a lift, it's like a ski lift called the Anakista. And at the top, there's sort of a, there's shops and restaurants, but it's sort of like a theme park up at the top. That's very much relatable to if you were at Avatar. That's the best way I can describe it. They had some treetop clubhouses and gardens and playgrounds, but they reminded me of something that you might see from a few hundred years ago that someone built up in the trees and there was one lookout and when we got up to the top we were out of time because my family did not anticipate how long we would have to wait in line and we had a rafting excursion later that day which I did not go on but my kids and my husband did and so when we got up to the top we walked through got a drink and then we went through this treetops course this is a treetops course Look how far down. It is so cool. It brings us from Anakista, which is up there. It's a lookout at the top of the Anakista lift. You can have a great view of, I think, five states. And then you can take this back down to the lift when you're done. Look how far down it goes. These are all up in between the trees. This reminds me of Kanakut Camp long long time ago so my cool. kids are on that platform down there getting ready to head back up they wouldn't wait for us so we have to catch them and when we were done with that we had to go straight back down so it was disappointing we didn't have an extra hour to go through this really cool park up at the top of the mountain with fabulous views but the treetops course was so cool it was just a series of bridges between the trees way way up high because these trees are very very tall and the bridges would move as people walked on them and so i was being bounced like crazy and so was everybody else around me if you were scared you could wait and try to go across it by yourself but you never knew if someone was going to come up behind you and start bouncing the thing my sister-in-law was terrified when she was going through this course but i thought it was really fun my only issue was when i got done i Felt like I was moving up and down for quite a while after it was over. So we got back down that night. The rest of my family went on this float trip and I kind of stayed behind with the girls and we went shopping again. And I did find a few cool things and I will, I guess, reveal those to you when I get back home and put this whole video together. But I got something from this really neat pottery shop so it's not a handbag, but it's still fun to, to check out. Today, we are shopping in Gatlinburg and I am at a pottery shop. And I know this isn't handbags, ladies and gents, but I just had a feeling that there was something here that I needed to have. And we all like beautiful things. I might give you just a tiny little hint. You haven't seen it yet. That's not the hint, but here in the Smoky Mountains, there are a lot of bears. We have bears at our cabin that we're staying at that we get to look at off our deck. And I spied a piece of pottery, actually two, in this store that have bears. And so I went ahead and bought them because I thought we could use them. And I think they're really pretty. I think I've said pretty about 10 times too many, but I think it's something my husband, these two items, is something my husband and I will enjoy together and hopefully they'll last a long time. They told me the pottery here lasts a very long time. So if you're in Gatlinburg, 
come check out Bowie Pottery. They have lots of really special things. And then I also got a little bit of something for my kids from this leather shop that we went to. Okay, so we are going into the leather works. I am with Sadie today. <laughs> And we are going to see if they have any handbags in here. Oh, yes, Aaron. Oh, they do? Oh, my goodness, they do. They have rabbit's feet. Those are so soft. Are the keychains? The keychains. Yep. Those would work for keys. Oh. And then they have all of these handbags with some kind of Indian designs on them and leather. These are kind of cool. This is oh, wow, the leather feels really good. It's one of my what? Wonderlands. Wonderlands. I suppose, yes. Some beautiful tuli in there. Look at how pretty this is, Sadie. Yeah. Isn't that really neat? Yeah. Very cool. Kind of reminds me of some of the Tory Burch patterns this year. Again, that did some customization. If you've ever done arts and crafts kind of Girl Scout projects, you may have stamped your initials into leather. It's just basically that. But they had some cool things that I found for my kids. I never did make it to a coach outlet. I was sort of hoping to do that, but everything I did was very in touch with the area, very untechnology oriented, and that's sort of what the trip was all about. So for most of the trip, I carried my pochette accessories hack with one of my new straps from Nanostore 2018, either the black one or the green one. When we got back to Nashville, Last night, we went and saw Vince Gill, and he was incredible. It was kind of hard for me to watch for the first half. He's been playing music for nearly 50 years. What he was doing 50 years ago is not something that I guess is what I would normally listen to, but it was an educational experience, I guess I could say, and I did appreciate it. It just, I guess it just all sort of sounded the same to me, the more country, twangy stuff. And then when it got into the second half, and, and I guess a little bit of the end of the first half, he brought out this amazing singer, and I'll pop her name in, I can't remember it right now, but she got second place on The Voice the last season. She was incredible. So the second half opened with her, and she was unbelievable. And then after that, he did his new music that he's written in the last few years, because he hasn't been on tour since COVID hit. and. It was incredible. It was very good. And then after that, he got into a whole bunch of his huge hits. And I'm telling you, he had more huge hits he could have done, but I was so glad I stuck it out. We didn't get out of the concert till like 1130, but I carried my Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessories hack. And like I said, I can put a little video in because we went to eat dinner at the assembly hall across the street from the Ryman where Vince Gill was performing. And I filmed a little video there. I sort of walked you through this assembly hall. It's a super cool place to eat. They have tons of different ethnic foods as well as just American foods to eat. And it's all sort of gourmet, but it's like a food court. And then on top of that, they have live music. Hey YouTube, it's Erin. I am at the assembly food hall. You can see the sign right there in Nashville. And I just wanted to walk through this place. It's insane the amount of different eats that you can get. I got a burger because I love burgers, but they even have like crab and lobster here. I am carrying my pochette accessories hack with my Nana Store 2018 strap that I have somehow clipped onto my shirt as well as the dress up your purse hack, which allows the salt to be possible. Got the chicken, the Nashville chicken. If you don't know the story of Nashville hot chicken, there was a lady a long time ago in Nashville and she figured out her husband was cheating on her. And so she made his chicken super spicy and was hoping to really get him cheesesteak place and he loved it and so it became a thing here in Nashville super spicy fried chicken anyway I'm just holding it up so you don't see the people there's an Indian place right there and we've got live music even all right signing out we went to the Vince Gill concert and got back home around close to midnight so this morning we woke up, my family went out to eat breakfast. I'm not particularly hungry. 
so I stayed behind and kind of got cleaned up for the road trip home and I switched back into this bag because this bag holds all of my road trip essentials. I got the strap, of course, from seethroughpurses.com and the chain is the Next Fashion 16 millimeter curb chain. I'll pop it in the description box what exactly I got. But I've got the little organizer in it from Joy and Bag with my cards and my, just my everything. I've got a snack for the road trip, a couple snacks. And hmm, what's that? Oh, I guess I have some extra hotel keys. I don't need those. But this is a great bag for when you need to carry a little bit more. And today, since we're traveling, I wanna have a little bit more at my feet ready to go in case I need it on the road trip. So this is what I'm carrying today. And I carried it on the way down there as well. And then I switched into the small bag because I forgot to bring my Longchamp backpack big mistake, but luckily the Louis Vuitton pochette accessories hack worked just fine for the trip. And I had it kind of high up on my waist and it just went along with me wherever I went. So I hope you've enjoyed this vacation synopsis. We had a whole bunch of fun and I'm ready to be back home. We'll have been gone a week now. If you noticed that I did a few less videos a week ago, that is why. Had a great time. I'm ready to be back home, I'm ready to see my puppies again, I'm ready to do some unboxings for you. So can't wait for that. I'm excited and I hope you will be excited too. Like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. So if you haven't found me on Instagram, you better go do it. I post things there too, including bag mod shots and outfits of the day, as well as all my videos. You can DM me on Instagram and you can also get in touch by email at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching and I will see you again real soon. Bye. Okay, we are driving down Broadway towards the honky tonks in Nashville where everybody comes with their dreams to sing and to party. We walked by this last night on the way back from Vince Gill at the Ryman, which I believe is just right up. There it is, there's the Ryman. And you can see how close that is to all of this insanity. Sorry, my window's dirty. My oldest son smashed a fly on it and I still haven't cleaned it off. Get outside, hear it?